Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10 of Wooden Stone. I'm Icon and today we're going to open up the gemstone mine. Maybe I'll be even able to set up a jeweler. I'm not right sure about that, but we will see what we can do. So if I remember correctly, gemstone mining doesn't come for free. Nah. We need to allocate tech points first to get even the basic knowledge of how to do this. But last episode I actually freed up all the area that I wanted to free up. And we can actually start out with that. And well, gemstones will be massive for us. The deposit is crap. I know that. We don't have much uh, stuff there that we can use. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be with the real high skill that our uh, Dondorians bring up to the table. It should be a pretty good thing. Good enough, at least, to keep the ball rolling. There we go. So now we have included the entire area there. And let's expand that into this direction. So we're going to do all the auxiliaries and the like there. Alright. Good. So, some storage and some auxiliaries and we're good to go. So, this place hosts 132 workers. Damn. Mines are so huge in this game. So, not quite there yet. There we go. And let's see. Jewelry. That needs another tech. Here jeweler. We should probably just do that. We should probably just unlock that and put the jeweler right here. So let's do this like that. Stone building of course. And do the pillars. And then we'll see what we can do. So... <clears throat> Jewelers do need quite a lot of uh, resource for their workbenches. But at the same time, I really want to provide quite a nice number of employees uh, workspaces here okay 22.8 well, let's let's stay with that let's add in the auxiliaries we need for that okay and then let's craft some jewelry one day don't we even want to know how the minus and the, the arch jobbers will be once we have finished that one. So. How's the food situation? State. Wonderful. The only thing that bothers me a bit is that we just churned out all our knowledge just for jewelry and gemstone mining and. Now we're broke again. Well, the city is quite huge by now. Other thing that I uh, thought the other day was I want to have a city wall here. I mean, eventually, yeah, enemies could enter the map from this side here too. So. I never really checked out the borders of this map for real, so we have some entrance from the southern direction there too, but that's also very easy to wall off. And let's see, up there, I bet there's also some entrance, yes, yes, but yet again, very easy to seal off. Okay, nice. I mean, so far, we don't even have military. Probably should have military by now, but uh, we'll see about that. I 
am quite willing to go um, into the whole production of weapons now. Oh, by the way, that was something I wanted to uh, work out today as well. We have a massive surplus of tools. So, let's check out what industry do we want to stock out with tools now as well. I feel like... The breweries should be should be receiving and let's let's do some booze today right and i think that's going to be enough projects for one episode okay so this is one nasty uh thing that i assigned to the people there they're not touching these jobs yet at all I mean, they are at the end of the world, basically, so I'm not too surprised. We also got a lot of stone now. A lot of stone. Carving out these uh, holes into the mountains really leaves you with a ton of usable stone. And we have lots of stone on the ground outside, so this place is just bountiful. Okay, so, um, well, no, just no to the jeweler at this point. And, uh, yeah, the gemstone mine is uh, open. Let's let uh, 10 people work here. And I'm gonna amp up the tool usage here as well. Because the deposits are crap. This place here has an output efficiency of 21%. This is really not a good gemstone deposit, but at the end of the day, it, it, it is at least a gemstone deposit. I don't want to mutter about that. Okay, with that being done, let's talk about booze. We got pottery. So I'm looking for the pottery now again. Didn't I do that the other episode already? No. So here, pottery. Put it up here. Nice little brewery. And then it's about time to think about reading for the Crotonians as well. It's about time that our Crotonian friends can found families here. Schooling and all the stuff. But, uh, first booze. I get that. Now, those damn the pillars. But I'm slowly getting behind the intricacies of constructing round rooms. So, here we go. Looks like crap, but what do I care? As long as it uh, does work out here. Round rooms are a real pain to design. For real. But th then again, it does make the Cretonian populace so damn happy that I really can't say no to. Round rooms. I feel like that's such a cheap way of making your population happy. Okay, we got 21 employees. I don't know, is that enough? 24? I feel like now we're, oh, now we're talking. So, auxiliaries. I need to amp up the efficiency of this place. And then let's see how long my pottery stockpiles will last. I highly doubt that they will last long. Okay, we got some niches that we can use there too. Here we go. Only thing lacking now is a storage. There we go. 
Okay, quite a costly one, but you won't regret that. Boom. And we're going to need taverns and <clears throat> consequence of that. So I want to build two taverns here. Let's build one more, like here. Isn't that the place where you want to go into a tavern right next to the gallows and the scaffolds, you see? Execution is the first, and then you go and drink the trauma away. Medieval life in a nutshell. But first, we need to provide booze for those uh, sorry little fellas. Let's see. Can get up here some extra tables, can't we? Okay. Well, let's put one down here. So I really want to uh, fill this place because it's one of those uh, wonderful places that can be filled with carpets. And uh, long-term viewers of my Songs of Six series know how much I love carpets. They fit everywhere. They add in the coziness that you need and they merely need fabrics, which I always end up having tons of. So, it's a pretty good thing. So we have one tavern now here, pretty much at the center of the city. Basically, I feel like we would need three taverns. One more for this district, and one more for this district. But for, for starters, we just have one. Let's see how, that's, how, how that'll work out. So, brewery getting done now, too. And even though... I have uh, insisted on implying, applying tools to all those fellas. We still get more and more tools. Gotta say, those uh, Dondorian population people are extremely good at uh, everything they do. Like the whole smithing and forging business is now a breeze. Okay, you guys produced one gemstone last year. Not two, not three, just one. But I gotta say, let's wait the uh, rest of the year. How much they'll crank out? Ten people here in the gemstone mine. I'll just let that run, and I want to see where the yearly production lies at. And for now, we just administer these a little bit more. So you folks want to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Take a, shut up and take the protection money. We're that rich. One day we're going to spank your fellows, though. Once we have military. Okay. Speaking about military. Once all these things are done, I feel like there's not much more for us to go for. So, let's see. Do I need to research something first, or... No, training ground and archery range. Yeah. Wait a sec. Arrow quivers. Those are. I bet arrow quivers are also made at the... At the Boyer's, Boyer's place. So, well, I do see one big problem here, though. My leather production is really letting me down these days. And we're already transforming all the leather we got into armor. So there's really not much that we can do. So there's a bit of game still here and there. But we really need to figure out something for our needs of leather in the far future. So yeah, here here's something more. But that won't last forever. So we're at minus two workers. Which workshop has just opened its doors? The brewery is running on auto employ with 34 people. Okay, brewery. 
Why the hell do you think you need 34 people for that? And the tavern's already opened. Nice. Okay, so we're going to allow some immigrants there. Let's bring up 30 Dondorians and uh, 50 Cretonians. That should add up enough uh, odd jobbers for the time being. And we're slowly now draining our food supplies, so... Which kind of food is running out, bitch? Okay. We'll just copy that thing. And slap down another one. So, let's see. I want to have one down from here. So, fertility 83%. Yeah, that's a good one. This will get us somewhere. And we might be also just applying some tech points more into farming. But, well... Let's go into the generalistic tech one more time. And then I think it's also about time to amp up my knowledge and paper production yet again. I mean, we have a lot of people there working for us already. Is this, is this seriously all the weaving we do right now? I need to amp that up. So, paper maker, yeah. We're going to need more paper making than that. Well, let's just copy that room then. Oh no, the doors won't fit in. Oh. Let's drop it down here then. I really do need a new paper maker here. And then we have to talk about libraries. Okay. But beyond Vetch, there's nothing really running out so far. Let's see. It's harvest time, so... We'll now see how much food we really got there. And if it is actually necessary to crank up the production yet again, or not. I guess those percentile bonuses surely get us somewhere, too. We got a nice amount of... Uh, drink production now. I mean, I gotta say, I built a magnificent brewery too. I mean, we we have a huge uh, workshop here now. Good. So, I'd say let's uh, bring out some extra taverns. Won't bother anybody. Like I said, I want to have three of them. So, here's one, so I want to punch down the third one, here, next to the libraries. I feel like that's a very uh, reasonable thing to do. Tavern next to the, library, to the libraries, where all the people do all the writing all day. Okay, we also seem to need to expand our road system yet again. Because that is not getting us anywhere. It's just not enough, you know. Our city is growing and growing. Good thing. Okay. And for the first time since I'm playing Songs of Six, I have the feeling as if I'm producing enough alcohol. Well, I gotta say, in the past, I also always tried to um, produce alcohol a little bit too early, I think. That might have been the entire mistake there. That I tried to dip into that production way too early. And then, you know, if you don't have the necessary materials uh, in, in, in enough plenty, 
It just doesn't work out at the end of the day. Alrighty, so... Let's wait for those taverns to get finished. And, uh... What's the gemstone stockpile doing? Three. Are you guys kidding me? So, they produced four gemstones so far this year. This is, uh... Yeah. We won't be able to produce much jewelry, okay? That's one thing I definitely foresee already. That's not a problem. So, well, I wanted to create larger libraries. I know. But I won't. So, we could snook in one of these there. Interesting. And let's drop down. Three more libraries like that. Kind of like that. <clears throat> I don't know. Whenever I play this game, I always end up with... A couple of workshops being huge and optimized and all, and a couple of them being tiny and being mass-produced because I'm somewhat lazy to reorganize them. Always the same with me. Alrighty, nice. Yeah, so if we ever have too much booze, which I highly doubt somehow, we're going to do one thing. We're going to increase the rations for everybody. They'll get that. Uh, they'll get uh, this used up. So it seems like my workers are roughly producing one gemstone per person. Because we're right now sitting in the autumn time. Eight. Ah, yeah, well, maybe it's a tad bit more. And that's with the heavy usage of tools. By the way, heavy usage of tools. I have now so much uh, weaponry at my hand. I want to set up some military. So, where do we want to train our troops? I feel like down here sounds like a decent idea to me. So let's do this. Long and lengthy road there. Okay, let's connect the parts of the city. Really like to do this. Roads are so much fun in this game. Okay, so now, military, training ground. Let's drop down a training ground right there. Eh, not a round one. There we go. Bam. So, we're going to make that out of stone. One entrance here, one entrance there. Pillar it up, and then we're going to add in the training dummies. There we go. So this will be, a, this will provide a lot of training uh, opportunity, I think. Oh, whoopsie. Okay. So with this thing here, you just need to add in training dummies and training dummies and training dummies. Let's do this like that. So this is where the Dondorian army will train henceforth.
The Kratonians are, of course, also allowed to train here. Okay. So, 96 capacity. 126 capacity. Yeah, that looks good. 150 soldiers can train here. I'm okay with that. So we can, in the future, send these extortionists away and show them the finger. Or at least that's the plan. I haven't had a successful military operation since, I don't know, five versions ago or such. Okay. So we're at 684 people right now. By the way, um, nurseries, uh, the Cretonian need bitch. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, unfortunate. So this place hasn't produced this year yet. Sure thing. So we're going to dig some canal here. Well, let's see how this will work. How's the booze situation? Well, slightly overproducing. Slightly. But I bet our folks are now, service-wise, happier than ever. So, let's see. Drink rations. Well, we could give them even more, but I don't want to right now. So, what happened to my libraries? They all got set up. Wonderful. So we really need more food production in the long run. We don't produce enough food yet. And this has to change somehow. So, let's see. There was a really, really brutally powerful tech here. There. Workshops? No. Oh, well, th that's the one I was looking for, but I don't really need that, because we have production ratios which are totally fine there. I need something which helps me with the food production. One person more on bakeries. Are you kidding me? That's a little bit low, don't you think? So, more administration production. Tempting, but no. Selective breeding, pasture production, bump up. Well... I'm going to spend that tech to increase my veg production because we really we really end up with this being right now the biggest bottleneck of my production chain, weirdly enough. So last year they produced 12, uh, 13 gemstones. They're roughly producing one per month. Gemstone per per month. Great. Great productivity, folks. Okay, well, I'm going to put up a, another vegetable farm. Smaller one. Over at this place. I really want to use the space there. And uh, our city is constantly growing. Therefore, more people will not be any... Uh, any downside or, or no more food will be of not any downside for us especially not the food we need for uh making new baby cretonians or keeping them alive i should rather say we're not creating them with well, let's let's not talk about that more closely so gemstone mine i'm going to slap in a couple of workers extra and let's start Let's start with one jeweler. Yes, this entire workshop had one jeweler. I'm serious about that. Alrighty. Let's see. We put up two veg farms there today. So all the other food stockpiles are totally decent. We could bring in more fish, yes. But, well, that'll be easy. I mean, we got all the stuff we need for that. Oh, boys, the training ground's being completed. So, we're going to pick up 
Ah, no, we're not going to pick up anybody. So, let's see. If I remember correctly, you have to put up a division first before they start training in there, but I'm not... I'm a little bit rusty in that regard, you know. So, harvest time. I'm pretty sure I overdid it now a tad bit with the productivity increases, but little do I care. So yeah, so the, the training ground doesn't do anything on its own. Wait a sec, it does. So they... Army here, okay, so... Division 1. Ah, yeah, that's just random uh, icons there. So we have now three divisions at arms. Immediately. So. We want... We want Dondorians here, guys. So let's see. Let's just have one squad at training there, and uh, I want to hire that squad right away. Ooh, there we go. It's not going to be enough in the long run, of course, but we have to start with something, okay? We have to start with something. Now, another thing that's been on my mind here was I really want to research how to produce armor out of uh, metal, but I, I gotta say, okay, I didn't think that, wow, I think this is a little bit too much, balancing-wise. 5,000, 6,300, so 7,000 tech points just to learn how to do armor smithing. 7,000, and I've spent 9,600 so far. I disagree with that one. I strongly disagree with that one. Okay, we need leather. We're not going to get that down. But I really feel like we... We do have to uh, spend a huge amount of research to get there. Anywho, let's see how the situation evolves there. Luby Carvis is in. But, uh, yeah, this place does, didn't produce anything this year. This place produced 540. Bad. I mean, right now I have a situation where I could actually grow shamelessly, population-wise, but I'm not, because I'm worried about the food production of this place. Anywho, good point to end today's episode. We did great. So we have now our first jewelry in production. Our our lone jeweler is uh, getting the job done there quite nicely. We're, we got the gemstone mine up and running. We got even our first military squad training. So, seriously, good stuff. So, see you guys next time. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me your thumbs up if you enjoyed. And, of course, consider subscribing. There's daily content coming up from my side. See you guys there, and have a good time. Bye-bye.